Spoilers and offensive content to come. We are Carlos and Dave, Anime Rave. We are the best anime review reaction show on the internet. And today we're going to be watching the first two episodes of Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. This one's notable because uh, we're watching the dub of this. And for the dub, they got back a significant portion of the old Full Metal Panic voice actors, from what I understand. Oh, shit, did they really? Yeah. They did. So Scan Konami are their old voice actors reprising the roles. And I'm not sure if... What the fuck is the silver-haired girl's name who's She's in charge back. of the... Tessa. Tessa. Tessa's back. So is um, the major... Okay. Um, so is Kurt. Cool. He was, he was, he was, uh, he was Ed from Full Metal Alchemist. He... Um, one person who's not back is the second in command under, under Tessa. Oh, yo, Cal yeah. Yes. It's been so long since I heard his voice. That's fine. It, I've heard a sample of his voice. It's actually jarring because it doesn't sound similar. That's fine. They, they, they got the important characters. Well, yeah, they needed Tessa, they needed Sosuke, Sosuke and Konami. And Konami. All the, right. the, the rest is negotiable. <laughs> we should also mention we're doing this one with friends, Kiki and Poe. <laughs> I don't remember any of the characters' names besides Konami. I was just like, because I fucking hate her hair so much, Like that's the only person I remember the fucking name. <laughs> you have a hate boner for her hair. <laughs> that hair is ridiculous, though. Come on, the... No, you, you you tie your hair at the very end. Who does that? S no more ridiculous than Sailor Moon. Okay, but her hair is long. You can kind of see a pony, t the pigtail thing going on. I get it. There is no rhyme or reason to let your hair all down and tie it at the end. No. Um, I was gonna say. So this series is not like Fomofu. It's more like that second season of the show. Well, the second rate. Yeah, so this is this is uh, the more serious. Yes, this, this, full this metal is okay. This is the prime storyline. This isn't a joke storyline. We're probably still gonna get a lot of humor involving Sosuke taking situations way too seriously and maybe killing a ghost. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. And what I can only predict, the inevitable return of Garin, despite him dying at the I end of the second season. I hope Garin always finds a way to not die. <laughs> that would make me so happy. I love Garin so much. Oh my god. If he's but if live. they bring him back, they gotta have the voice actor too. I love you, Kashim. I love you, Kashim. <laughs> oh my god, I remembered it. Uh, Why aren't you proud of me? I, I'm always proud of you, Keeks. <gasps> but I'm not proud of Dave. Well, what, you. Poor David, what did he do? On with the episode! <laughs> Dave, thanks for hosting us. I was gonna say, like... So, a few things here. We see Leonard Testarossa again from his brief appearance in the second season. I don't fucking remember the shit. Uh, he was, uh, he saved uh, Konami from the two twins uh, trying to kill her. The two twins that Garin was uh, working, yeah. that were working for Garin. And this guy here was kind of the jokey upperclassman from Fumofu. I didn't think he existed in canon. Clearly he does. <laughs> so he actually showed up in season one. Can Did you, he? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me a quick recap of why they want Chittery? She has powers to make the thing go. She She's like Tessa where they have the ability to tap into future tech. Yeah. And understand technology at a almost elemental level. Okay. Right. And, be and and because like, but it's not like a general pool that they all access. Tessa had access to submarine tech, aka why their submarine is so fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Chittery is even more valuable. She understands the mech tech. Mm. She's the one who finally got Sosuke to start using the um. Arm Arbalest? Arbalest, thank you. Yeah, that's right. The Arbalest, and get oh, you yeah. using it on the same level as Garin was. Yeah. Oh, all this okay. pre-anime rave stuff coming back oh, to us. Boy. Yeah, because okay, because I was like, I remember she was really good at it. Was I? I, I remember yeah. it was something like that, but I couldn't remember the exact specifics. Also, both uh, both Konami and Tessa are in love with Sosuke. Yes, and, and that Sosuke I know. is so far in love with. Uh, with uh, Koname oh, that yep. he uh, went slightly crazy in season two. Well, <laughs> when they tried to pull him dead. Yeah, he thought she was dead. He freaked out when they pulled him away from her and punched that laptop something yeah, fierce. Yeah, I remember that. And at one point, one of his, um, one of the other subordinates to Mithril was kind of 
telling them, so you're, you don't care about any of this. You're just willing to kill anybody. Isn't, aren't you basically becoming the terrorist that you're fighting right there? And they were ready to shoot him until they dropped the arbalist on him and Conway came out and kicked him in the head. Yep. Yeah, 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 I remember that. So much happened in that, that little segment. Yep, yep, that was a very eventful 13-episode season. That was the last episode. <laughs> that was a very eventful 13th episode. Oh my and God. what didn't the bad guy in that masturbate to kitten videos? Yes, he did. That's I remember right. That, that was what? Gates. That was, that was Gates. Yeah. He saw yeah. cats and he was like, Are you serious? Why don't yeah. I remember that? And then he got vaporized by Sosuke. So, Good. So, so, what Sosuke's the mech fuck? was doing something that they'd never seen any of the mechs doing before. He was jumping on. Um, railings and everything else that should have buckled easily but he's just bouncing off of them yeah oh my god <laughs> it's been a while it's, it's been, been a while, while. And, and that's shit. the thing it has been nigh on a decade since season why. two yep and what's that show the same guys did uh uh amagi brilliant park was yeah. not enough of a tide over <laughs> no it wasn't. that's one that you i don't believe you two saw no but i saw you guys do the rave for it yeah Let's face it, Kami doesn't have to go to college. She's already got jo- a job lined up with Mithril. Oh, yeah, no right? doubt. They're going to provide for her very handsomely. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they've let her stay out in a public school with Sosuke there probably shouldn't have happened. Yeah, no shit. They should have pulled her back in season one. Ridiculous. I hope we see Subaki now, too. I want him and Sosuke to get into at least a one fight. Me too. I love Tsubaki. He's so funny. No, just a random note. I always ship to uh, Konami's friends with each other, like Kyoko and Shinji. Like when I was younger, back in the first couple seasons in Fumofu. Oh my god, Shinji, where the hell is he? Got the glasses, right? Yeah. yeah. He had all the Jane's guides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, when they were doing the hot, no, when they were doing the bathhouse scene back in Fumofu, and Kurtz was... Uh, like, tap into your inner potential. And then Shinji had that little bit that was, like, from uh, Gundam Seed, where the core went off inside him, and he had all this energy, and he was going to make it, but then all the well, all the guys were too late to peep on some titties. Ah, Fumofu was perverted more often than not. Yep. God damn it, I knew something would ruin that tender moment. Yeah, fuck. Fuck you, Sephiroth. Shit was going to happen here. At least he had clothes on. <laughs> It would have been way better if he was completely nude. It would have been so much better if he's like, "Hello, Miss Chittery. Why are you naked? Why are you? Why, why, are, you, why are you dressed? Yeah. It, why aren't you? Why, I, I, you know, I took a shower. You took a shower? Yeah, yeah. I was stinky from the day. Of course, I was gonna shower. And you say I'm lewd? You two are the perverts holding hands. <laughs> That's supposedly a meme on, uh, like, on other sites where the dirtiest thing you could do, it's always sends it out, is holding hands. <laughs> I am so mad at Prince Lotor here for ruining my moment. Okay, that's an awesome cloak. I want one now. So he has fucking Doctor Strange's cloak. We need Doctor Strange. On, 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 on top of that, it's bulletproof. Uh, so it's guaranteed. It's like Sosuke is not wielding um, regular bullets. Those are armor piercing. Did he oh kiss yeah, her? and in case you don't remember, he kissed her full in the mouth in season two. Okay, after he yeah, rescued her. I was just about to say, when did he fucking kiss That's her? That's why she did the whole hand to the hand to her mouth. Okay, yeah. because uh, Leonard here, uh, Leonard he here has a. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's got the hots for for chittery, uh, because he's a piece of shit who interrupted my moment. Wow. Stupid Sephiroth looking motherfucker just ruins the ruining everything. <laughs> I mean, we, we saw those human sized mechs that didn't have a pilot back then. They were autonomous. Mm. Okay. I um, like I like my head cannon where it's <laughs> small rescue ranger level creatures working for the bad guys. Yeah. They don't give a shit anymore? Yeah, what happened is, in a tragic incident, Dale was killed, and since he was the Joker, he's kind of like in Justice League Unlimited, oh my God. the Justice Lords, when their Flash died, they all went to evil. Jesus. When their Dale died, all of them started working for Leonard Testarossa. Oh my Leonard, no. But he also got in contact with the Ra- Rescue Ra- rescue Aid Society, you, you know, the rescuers. He contacted Bernard and Miss Bianca. They're also oh. piloting two more on the other side of the world. Oh, oh. not them, too. Oh, I like them. They're stationed in Australia. 
so they can protect the, the, the giant bird from from all of their poachers. This Leonard is what get, you started. Leonard gets away by jumping on the giant bird from the rescuers down under. Oh my god! And they're like, "What? You can summon that fucking what's her name? Marahuti. Marahuti. That that kid was Leonard." Oh my god! Oh no! The poacher was right! <laughs> Holy shit! His voice isn't the same either. And Honestly, the only voices I remember very clearly are, <clears throat> are uh, Sosuke Konami, Tessa, uh, uh, Edward Elric, and the woman who's always with Edward Elric. Who's Edward Elric? Uh, Kurt Weber. Kurt Weber. Who's Kurt Weber? The blonde guy. You'll, re- you'll, you'll remember him when you'll game remember game. when you see him. Um, so, I've rewatched all three seasons here recently. Yeah. Uh-huh. This coming out. Uh-huh. I kind of need to watch this. <laughs> so, the second in command had a much more... His voice is fine. I'm not shitting on it. But the, the other voice actor had a much more commanding... And his voice... And the submarine <laughs> commander here is nothing like it used to be. He's so important to you, you remember his exact name. He's I'm, anim- I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> All I'm saying is that you're very picky about these voices. What are you going to do when I have to pick a replacement voice for me? I've already talk- picked a replacement for you. <laughs> no, I pick who dubs me next. Oh my god, is it like MXC where like other people dub over your Carlos, voice? I've already got a contract with Oscar the Grouch. He'll be perfect. Oh. He said that that bitch said that I got to pick him. You know who else would be better? Hmm. Fucking the Count. Did you hear what he Ooh. said today? <laughs> Oh, we were watching, like, the Sesame Street thing. Like, yeah. we just turned on the TV to do something else, and it was Sesame Street, right? And what happened is the count, the, the count, this one other Muppet was playing, and the count was like, one bad note, ah, 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 two, two bad, bad notes, notes, three, and it was, like, this terrible song this one other Muppet was playing. The count was just roasting them. <laughs> and we were like... Carson and I were like, could not take our eyes off the TV. We are like, did he just say... Three terrible notes? I thought his next line was going to be, God, you're terrible at this. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny because him and I, I could tell just by looking at the scene, I didn't even have to look at Carlos. Him and I were like, this is fucking awesome. This is the greatest thing we've we stumbled upon. <laughs> we literally just turned on the TV. Would you mind if the Count took over your voice? I would be totally fine. I would be honored. I am not a big fan of anime. One shitty line. Two shitty lines. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> despite the, despite him not smiling at all, anime Dale Gribble is approved. Oh, no. Oh, my lord. He is anime <laughs> Dale Gribble. He's going to throw pocket sand. I would laugh if there's a scene later and he throws sand out of his pocket. Yep, yeah, I, would, I, would, I would be very happy if that happened. It was only a matter of time. Yes. Shall we dispatch the helicopter in the usual way? He speaks and all I hear is, um... The Emperor dude from Full Metal Pan- An- Alchemist. From Full Metal Pan- Pan- Alchemist. Yeah. Which Emperor again? Fear Bradley. Fear Bradley. Oh, yeah. yeah. King All Bradley. I hear when he speaks is Fear Bradley. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're looking at Valkenhayn and Dale Gribble in anime form. <laughs> is it because of the hat, Poe? Yes, the hat and the glasses. Oh my god. Stop picturing Dale. Myth- Mithril represents an Admiralty Court. An Admiralty Court even implies I can naval court martial you. I cannot be court martialed twice in the meanwhile. That is all. <laughs> so that's what Ed did after he lost his powers. Didn't I suggest this when we first watched this dub way back when that this is what Ed did when he got trapped in the real world after uh, Conquer of Shambhala? You may have. It's just kind of interesting that he loses his powers no matter which version you watch. Did I ever tell you that I fought in an alternate Earth around World War II? Oh, shut up, Kurtz! <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and not just that, he was able to stay young, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that... Uh, and heal his arm and leg. I, I realize there's a lot of plot holes in my headcanon. No, I realize that there's a lot of plot holes in my life from, from then until now, but I won't bore you with those details. I won't bore you the details of my miraculous growth of my arm and leg, but trust me, it happened. He, he can still do alchemy. That's secretly how they keep winning. He's just, fuck it. <laughs> we never did find out what happened to the red-headed girl in episode one. 
Yeah, we know that she got rescued. We don't know by which organization. And we ne never heard well, about her ever I never, never saw her in the first season. Until never this, saw her in Fumofu. Until this little image right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which means that he had to have been the one to have, re to have rescued her. Oh, uh, of that I have no doubt. It's just, yeah, I have no idea who she is. And it's not Tessa. That we know. I thought it was Tessa originally, and then I'm like, no, it can't be. No, it, timeline's wrong. It was yeah. just Tessa. Oh, someone's messing with time pretty fierce, as we've established. Rescue aid society safety. Uh, <laughs> how do we um, work the Infinity Gauntlet into this? I don't know if you heard Poe, but he said the Rescue aid society is the one that saved him. Oh, God. <laughs> I got saved by mice. Mice of many ethnicities and color and fur colors. The, the final boss of Full Metal Panic is... Bianca. <laughs> they had fur hats and scarves. They were quite bougie. <laughs> Bianca riding the ghost of John Candy in the ghost of Orville. <laughs> wow. Orville's the name of her Mac. Her giant Mac. She's upset that uh, Sosuke killed Bernardo one time. Oh, what? I'm, Why? I'm, 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 this is going too far. I, I'm... <laughs> Only now is it going too far. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not placed, I'm jumping too far ahead in this canon anime. <laughs> oh, God. What? I, no, there's just an episode there. I, I, I kind of wish he, he had said they're in for a long fight. <laughs> but that oh would be God. that would be the old Sosuke. Do you have the second episode? Yes. Yay! I do not have the third episode, though. No! So. <laughs> We're we're three weeks behind the the subbed ones, uh, but I'm totally okay with that being the dub. Uh, Sosuke was gonna ask her if she wanted to just run away with him. Yeah, I, absolutely. That's and, why I was like, no, I, say it. You know something? Chittery heard that. Yeah, no shit. That's why she didn't try and make him follow up like he, like she normally does. Hey, I think Sosuke is great and a tactical mind and all that. He was the lone car in a parking lot that even any normal schmuck walking their dog would, would look like, at and think, that's, that's suspicious. <laughs> like, yeah, that oh. was stupid. Why wasn't he hiding in by some of the trees? We also have no idea how long ago he had moved. That's true. He true. could have been in that parking lot for half an hour. It's like, huh, I wonder how long that car was parked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you have no idea how many people he's knocked out tonight. There's no, that was the enemy combatants knocking that guy out and oh. surrounding him. That's true, though, because he, he could have just been, like, uh, moving, on the move. moving every little bit, and then that's when he just happened to stop. All right, let's watch episode two. Yeah! This isn't just affecting us. Commercial satellites are failing, too. How is this happening? The entire Navstar GPS network is down. Comstar's gone offline, too. I think Navstar is actually a real satellite Wait. system. Navstar is. Comstar, however, is it's a the... mech warrior thing. That's funny. <laughs> so I'm... Comstar is now down. Oh crap. Shit is Skynet next. You, know, you take down Comcast, no one gets free movies. You take down Skynet, that's when John Connor saves the world. But yeah, Shit, they need John Connor. Navstar is a line of satellites that are available to everybody. You're a line of satellites available to everybody. Shit, they took down Brazilian comm satellites. How am I going to get my weird, sexy soap operas that have ninjas in them? Are you sure it was Brazilian? It could have been any South American country. <laughs> they, they look a little bit closer, and it's just, it's, it's just a steady stream of missiles hitting that one spot. I, I, I was going to say it's a fucking Tien going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Tien's working for... Oh no, Tien is... Far and away, the most powerful enemy they've had to fight. <laughs> He's a Dragon Ball character. I also realized no one could see me doing the pose. Yeah, you, you, you were looking at the mic with your hands in the solar flare <laughs> position. You also did it wrong. It's like this. Oh, damn yeah. it. I, what was this? Oh, I'm no, thinking that's of him that doing really? You're thinking of Tribium. Yeah, damn it. Or, uh, or why, no, if you want to knock people out uh, or knock out communications, well, you could have gotten Krillin with his solar flare ties 100. <laughs> Oh, God, fuck Krillin and his solar flare times 100. <laughs> Stealing Tien's move. Also, fuck Tien! Why do you hate Tien? What is Because Tien he didn't to think you? Yamcha could beat Frieza Mooks. Oh, really? That's mean. Fuck Tien. <laughs> Tien's a very honest person. Tien's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh, you threw Chaozu, though. When 
Goku's grand kick can take take you out, you shouldn't be fighting. And that's Yamcha. And you you can you can lick you, every rim walks I have. In, Yamcha walks into the room, Chi Chi takes him out. Oh, you've been Yamcha. I, I Dave, I hate you so much. Dang, man. <laughs> you can just <laughs> Yamcha is one of my favorite characters to play in, in DBZ. I was going to say, he's cool. But they definitely improved him. They made him formidable. You'll, you'll see in this next movie he'll do something. I hope so. I swear he'll do something. Oh, Carlos, I'm sure so he'll sad. do something. He's, he makes very nice craters. I'm leaving. He's going he's gonna to be on the winning team on EVO 2018. They're not going to turn him into a bad guy, are they? The second in command? Is he a sleeper agent? That would saying? be really bad after three seasons. Two, technically. Four. Or, or three, because in the end credits, Poe pointed this out. It says FMP4. This is, this is, they're counting Fumofu as season two. Very Which well. is very weird to me. That is very weird. Still, him going bad would be just out of left field. I mean, that that's almost, uh, would be almost as strange as Yamcha would. Oh, God! I was going to say, that's almost a, that was almost out of the left field as Stalking killing Penny at the last episode of Penny and Stalking. Uh, we, I have no what? idea what you're talking about. Yeah. It has, it has, thanks it's for basic, the... Go, basically, okay, go, no, go do it. No, 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 you know what? You know what? I want you to finish. <laughs> yeah, what Fine. the fuck? They beat the great evil. Partner kill, comes out of nowhere, kills her partner, no, kills her friend instantly. She's like, wait, you're an angel, why would you do this? Sorry, I'm actually a demon. And then she walks away, and it's a guy next ending. You know what? I, I'm i glad I never watched that show. Yeah. What show is this? Panty and Stalking. Uh, I, I've never heard of this. Uh, be I saw, thankful. I saw episode one, and they went with a kind of a super deformed style of animation for the main battles and the enemy blowing up was actually real life um modeling of the enemy blown up but whenever they went into their battle forms their power up or their tr- their transformation all of a sudden it went super detailed pervert mode Mm, so I, I would turned it off like... very quickly after. I want to watch more full metal panic <laughs> good <laughs> Okay, I, so let's talk the um, intro. I am extremely worried after seeing that <laughs> intro. Hi. I think we're going to see Mithril get wiped out. I think everything's going to be okay. With, with the exception of um, Tessa's sub. I think everything's going to be okay. <laughs> it looks know. like Sosuke may be separated from um, Chittery. I hope not. And maybe we're about to see this series go dark for a bit. It kind of went dark in the, in the last season, near the end a bit. But dark's not always the answer. No, DC Comics is wrong. Correct. Uh, they had an arena going on there with mech fights. We've never heard about that happening in in this show. The closest yeah. we had was back in like season one when uh, Shinji's father was on a team of like, it was like a mech football or mech soccer. Oh yeah, right. I'd forgotten about Maybe it's new. Except this time, this is a battle arena. Man, I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Holy no, shit. No, I do now that, now that you mentioned it. I need to rewatch seasons one to three. I need to, but I'm not going to. Why? <laughs> I don't want to. Your face don't want to. Get me those fucking seasons though. Okay. I think you've been told. Give it to me so I can watch it and be lazy in bed. We should see if they're actually on Netflix. They might be. You're on Netflix. Man, the bandwidth must be humongous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Fat jokes, Dave. Hey, I'm the same way, bud. This, this <laughs> shit don't compress. <laughs> you know what doesn't either? <laughs> 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 That's staying on the mic. <laughs> no one could see. I was trying so hard to inhale my stomach and push it out as far as I could go. <laughs> Say that again. Zipper, no! The fly can't pilot a fucking mech. Oh my god. I, I was like, what, what is happening right now? I don't know what the fuck you... Oh.
Never mind. Just nothing. <laughs> Now hang on, let's let this play out. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so. <laughs> I think we have a Garin moment here. Oh my god! <laughs> it was like <laughs> Hang on, let's let, let's see this through. Paul died died! <laughs> <laughs> like a bitch! <laughs> Now I'm finding it funny. I'm just laughing. Wow. He finds this fucking hilarious. You sick fuck. I was going to make a serious comment about how Sosuke doesn't want Konami touching the gun because he doesn't want her to be a murderer like he is. Yeah. But, but here's Po not giving a fucking Poe's shit. Like, oh, his head exploded. What a chump. He's, no, he was laughing because of it. Chi chi chi, grass make. That's why he's laughing. The grass, there's the glass shatter. Oh! <laughs> You're so fucked. You're right there, Poe. Okay, okay, I think I'm he's okay wiping now. his eyes. They... He was crying. This is actually some of the first, not the first, but they used blood very, very sparingly in the first three seasons. Yeah, now like, Poe's laughing. This is kind of shocking coming from them with how little blood we saw in in the first few seasons. I mean, it's not like we saw the brain splattering or nothing. We we got a mark of red, which was hilarious, apparently. And we know the guy's dead. Which is also <laughs> apparently hilarious. Fucking Poe. Okay, I just want to say that these are some amazingly armored trees. Because the sort of bullets that he's using that are anti... Um, or armor piercing. Those oh, yeah. bullets should be going through these trees like Swiss cheese. Oh yeah, they the trees are very poor cover in this kind of gunfight. Yes. Uh, no, you guys are both idiots. They're obviously mana trees. So <laughs> Right, right, I fucking forgot. Assholes. Don't even wow. know, don't oh, no. even know your fucking own anime bullshit. That's fucking Leonard's plan all along. He wants to revive the mana fortress. Oh god. See? Fucking idiots. I already know what's going on. It's all in here. Okay, so let's recap. After Dale's untimely death, the rescue rangers were recruited by Leonard Testeros and a pilot Little Mex, yes. which is adorable. Um, all this in his plans to revive the Mana Fortress. The only thing standing in his way are, are is Mithril, which comprises of two teenagers horny for each other, but don't want to admit it. Yep. Uh, Edward Elric from another timeline who may or may not have power still. Yep. And a lot of mini skirts. Yes. And anime Dale Gribble. Anime Dale Gribble, that's correct. Pocket sand may be a factor. I like this headcanon. Fucking the, old! What the fuck were they firing? Were, mini nukes? Were they firing... Did they load their mini guns with light arrows from Wind Waker? <laughs> No, they obviously uh, loaded it with those antimatter things that, like, when it touches, like, you're, it's like a little mini black hole. Oh, from Thor 2. Yeah. The black hole grenades. Yeah. Okay, okay gotcha. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't sign up for this out of humanism. I was hired. So you want me to die here? For what? My comrades? You son of a... Call me what you will, but I want to live to spend what I got paid. <laughs> And I know I'm not the only one. I warned you, Corporal. You give me no choice. I'm putting you under arrest for- You'd like to sell me out? I've heard worse ideas. Madam Captain. I suspected one of you might broach this topic, so I thought I'd come check up on you. So you were listening. Well, hey, you know it wasn't personal, right? Hand me your sidearm, please. Morality aside, Mr. Speck's logic would be sound. Except, 
It fails to account for my willingness to shoot every traitor among you dead. <laughs> Whoa there, be reasonable. I think you're a great girl and all, but... <clears throat> Reconsider your attitude, Corporal. Perhaps you thought I came here to plead with you. That I'd beg you, teary-eyed, to spare me. To save us. That I'd appeal to your compassionate nature and seek to turn pity into loyalty. The fact that you're here now means that you too walk the path of the warrior. Were you forced down the path that led you to this fight? Or did you choose it? Did you think that I was given this command through some accident? No, ma'am. Address me fully. Tell me who I am. <sighs> You're Captain Telatha Testarossa. Commanding officer of the Tuatha de Danon's forces. That's good. Now retract your previous statement and apologize to me. At once. I'm sorry, Captain. And I take everything back, ma'am. Very well. Mr. Speck, your team is in dire need of your skills as a pilot. I'll overlook your treasonous instigation. Feel free to stay on once we've survived this. Once we've survived? And how exactly do you figure that miracle's gonna happen? You've misunderstood this arrangement, soldier. The troops I command can't die until I tell them to, and I have given no such order. You will survive. You don't have permission to die. Come back alive. That is an order. Yes, yes ma'am. Right. Good luck out there. All of a sudden, just a sniper rifle is <laughs> blood kills goes him. right and kills him. Yep. And it's well, her. She's like, I was not joking. <laughs> Oh Tessa, this 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 bumped her up a few points in my book because I'll be honest with you, Tessa's always kind of annoyed me. Same, fuck her. I was just always like, okay, whatever. But fuck no, she's a fucking badass when she wants to be. Yeah, I agree. When Sosuke's life isn't on the line, she can be a badass. Yeah, or when he's not there. That's yeah. what it is. When he's not there, she's fucking cool. When he's there, it's like she forgets how to be fucking what she is. Like. Yeah. Jesus. Poor Kurt. <laughs> Use your alchemy. No, that was going to say, just do this thing. Whatever, you know. Clap down. Okay, there. Yeah, yeah. there should not be her personal mobile trackable phone. Unless they've already doctored it or something. I still wouldn't trust it. Any incoming signal yeah. can be tracked through um, the cell towers. Fun. So, yeah. Step one. Smash all cell technology. Yeah, no shit. So the church that she was in, if I'm not mistaken, that was um, Amalgam. No, that's not the right name, name for the enemy. No, you're correct. Oh. It's funny how you second guess yourself when you're accurate, but <sighs> no second man. guessing when you're dead oh. wrong. Anyway, Amalgam's that, I believe that was their logo in the stained glass. Could be. So Chittery's going to get kidnapped. No, she's gonna go willingly. Or she's gonna go with them. Willingly. Absolutely she is. Well, god damn it. My my the romantic moment between the two I've been waiting for was ruined. ruined. Completely ruined. I know, what bullshit. What what other names can I call Leonard? I've called him Sephiroth, I've called him uh Lotor. What else? Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> Why did you both say that at the same time? I don't know. <laughs> It is the Twinsies. first time that she's seen him actually kill in the flesh. Yeah, but, yeah, and he did a lot of killing today. Yeah. <laughs> he really racked up I those mean, confirmed kills. Sure, he's blown up mechs before in front of her, and yeah, she realized on some level that pilots died. But it's a little different when you see somebody kill somebody in front of you. Yeah, exactly. For you. This is a big gamble, releasing a new Full Metal Panic show so long after the last season, yeah. and just going immediately into, into the fray. I was gonna say with very little character introduction, they really relied on people knowing full well who these people are, at least at a basic level. Yeah, man. Because I was just like, fucking, it's starting to come back to me. But I was just like, oh man, oh shit, you're oh fuck, things are happening now. 
No fucking time. <laughs> no time. Go. And yet, I prefer it that way with this. The new Full Metal Panic season was big news when it finally hit. And it had been rumored for two years. But when they finally said, yes, we're finally continuing it, there's enough material in the light novels to do another three or four seasons, from what I understand. I'm just glad to finally get a new one. And the voice actors are on t- ran on their game. Oh, yeah, the, the dub is great. The fucking... Uh, fucking ruin my moment. Uh, that smart, I mean, your moment. That, that, that beautiful moment. motherfucker fucked me. The emotional impact is just where it needs to be. Yep. Yeah, I believe Konami's going to get kidnapped and Soski is probably going to leave Mithril to go find her if that intro well, is it, to be believed. It sure looks like he's going off on his own Rambo style. Mm-hmm. Well, he's going to have to because every other communication is fucking being taken. Like, how else is he going to get there? So no, we, these were great. Oh, yeah, no, I'm glad this show's back. And it's immediately playing with my emotions. Immediately. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, no, it's, it's good. Full Metal Panic, and they got the, vo- the, they got the correct voice actors back, and the voice actors who didn't come back were characters I didn't really remember anyway. So fine, I'm okay <laughs> with that. I'm gonna miss Garin if he really is well and truly dead, because he's I'm, such a good villain. Okay, Can't they, Garin's they, gone. Okay. Can't they put his soul into a mech? Garin is gone. You don't know that. No, actually, I do. It's an AI program that you know, that acts like Garin. This is the anime. It could it could play out differently. It, Doctor Light put himself into capsules. I don't see why Garin can't put himself into could, killer capsules. But from what I understand, the, the anime doesn't need to do that because it has a number of really good bad guys. Garin died dying in a bed <laughs> trying to kill Kashim. Oh, he died so good, too. Yes, he did. <laughs> With that smile. <laughs> I love Garin. Yes, but he had his moment, and he, he blew needs it. more moments. One of the few really good anime villains is oh, Garin. absolutely. Like, but we'll see. Uh, so far, Leonard as a villain, I'm like, whatever. He's just, he seems like more of a stupid creep. He, he seems like... You're right? Like, he, he's just doing this because, yeah, they want fucking chittery, but he, you know he's doing it because he wants to fucking bang her. Yeah, he's just... He doesn't care that she doesn't like him back. He's like, whatever, I fucking can bang her, then fuck it. He's creepier evil Tessa. That's yeah. all he, That's yeah. all he is. That's yeah. nothing. I'm hoping that guy... Evil-er? Really? <laughs> I, I said evil. I didn't say eviler. Okay, I heard eviler. <laughs> I said creepier evil. Tesla. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe that one subordinate of his, or the guy with the glasses, he seemed to have a prominent role in the intro. Maybe he'll be pretty cool. Who oh, knows? and even from the little bit that we've seen of him, I mean, he accused Garn of, of messing around and having too much fun. That tells me that this guy's going to be down to business, get things done. So we may not have the same mind games as Garn did, but probably we'll see somebody who's a little bit more effective in getting the job done. He will probably kill Leonard while Leonard's doing something creepy. And then after he's go- and then he doesn't actually die, so when he's about to kill Chittery, Leonard jumps in to save her, and then he's actually dead for good. Hey, as long as it leads to his death, I'm okay with it. That's what's gonna happen. Any more thoughts on Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory? No. no I'm good. Alright, <laughs> folks. What did you think? Let us know in the comments. Carl's Dave Anime Rave is the best anime review interaction show on the internet. You can find us at AnimeRave.xyz where you can watch us review and react to things and do Let's Plays and do other things. Things. Tune in next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.